Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome to this Rest and Worship Saturday where basically we talk about or where I talk about what resonated with me on the Sabbath. And also join me also as I bring together the other YouTube which is The Pursuit to Christ. On there I kind of correlate what I talked about during the week um, which in this case is basically um tapping into the healing, the peace, the, uh, the liberty that God has for us. Okay. And so basically I find that there's a lot of reasons why we're not tapping into what God has for us. Okay. And so just kind of stand by and we'll divulge, dev into it. So, okay. For those of you who do not know, my name is Sheila Rollins, and I am the founder of Sheila Ministries Entertainment and Associates, Inc. And on this YouTube, we are Overcomers Anonymous, where we support anyone designed to overcome anything. And we do it with Jesus Christ being a higher power and what he's accomplished for us on the cross. Therefore, our deliverance, our success, the things that we thought were impossible becomes possible with Christ. And also on our Pursuit to Christ, the second YouTube um, basically deals with the hard things that people have to press through in order to take hold of what God has for us through Jesus Christ. So, okay. So, um, if you haven't already, please become a part of our YouTube by subscribing. It's totally free. Remember to give me some thumbs up if you like it. Um, share everywhere with everyone on all social media platform, friends, frenemies. Um, and check out the playlist, okay? Yes, check out the playlist. I can't talk about the food because it's the Sabbath, but um, Sunday to Friday, I deal with that. But right now, it's the Sabbath. So we're just taking that time from selling and purchasing to spend some time with our Lord God, Jesus, Jesus Christ, and our Savior. So, okay, so the Bible says that all power is given into Christ. And let me say this. Scroll down if you want to make a comment or just say hi. Or on the right of the title, you'll see an arrow. Click in there so I have the scriptures. Now today, I'm not, I got a lot to cover. So I'm not going to put the, the scriptures. I might not quote where I find the scriptures, but I will have them in the description. Okay, so this week, you know, this is basically everything this week, you know, that, um, I've been dealing with a lot of death in my family and stuff. And my heart was kind of sad and what a way for the devil to come on in to have his way. You know, he does that a lot of times when we're stressful, you know, when we're dealing with, um, you know, a lot of, you know, worldly situations that, that we have to deal with. We're working, dealing with people, attitudes, um, you know, those that are saved, those that ain't saved, those that come off the way, those that straddle the fence. You know, we're dealing with a lot, but God has promised us that he will be with us. You know, and so basically some of the reasons in why we, we, we come away when um, trials come. One of the reasons is because we say to ourselves that the temptation is too much. And so while God gives it to us, he allows it like every day, we have to only tell Satan no for that moment, for that day. Okay. And then of course, another day, but we are not going to have, don't be fooled. This right here is earth. We are not going to have our healing, our cleansing, our liberality, our peace, our blessed and our power without trials and tribulations. So we need to make that a norm, normal occurrence of life. Okay. And so basically God has said that he will make us a way of escape and that he would not allow us to be tempted above which we can handle. Okay. So it's a bit of trusting God. And then sometimes the blessing does not come fast enough. However, the Bible talks about, and, and, and Jesus gets right to it in one part of the Bible because it talks about um, our rewards. You know, 
that if we be obedient, if we follow God's laws and his precepts, the rewards are ours. Okay. So the thing is, is that we have our minds made up about when it should come and when it should happen. The Bible says that let this mind be in us that's in, in Christ Jesus. And just, it also, it says that our mind is not like Christ's mind and his mind is not like ours. Okay. And because he's Lord God and savior. All right. We need to surrender to him. And that way, when we have no expectations of when he's going to do a particular thing it's and we trust him. It's easy for us to rest in peace and roll with the punches, whatever Satan brings us our way. And so the last thing that I have on that is that on why we leave posts and why we come away from the Lord is that our old way of being and doing is more familiar to us than the new way or the ways that God wants us to embrace, to follow to obey okay but however there is hope and there's hope because god just knowing how we are once we leave post once we um, jump ship go on the other side or whatever the case is we can always get back you know the bible talks about when we turn away from our idols and a lot of times it is idols. A lot of times it's like we are doing the things that we see other people do. Be it our parents, be it our caretakers, our friends, or whoever it is. Okay? We are following our peers. It is not God. They have become our God. So therefore, the Bible says that if we would confess God will forgive and he will cleanse us from all unrighteousness, okay? The Bible talks about that there were times, long times where Israel, God's people, had been without the true God. But as soon as they confessed their sins and got rid of their idols, God showed up. And we're not any different. God is no respecter of person. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And so, so, so therefore, the Bible says, I have some steps for us. That basically, how do we get back? And this is found in 1 Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, um, starting at verse 16. But you can read the whole thing. The whole thing is good. But anyhow, it says, rejoice evermore. Because when we fall into temptation, when we go away that God don't want us to go, it gives us something to compare against. No matter how unfamiliar we are with the way of God, we have so much peace when it comes to following God. We don't want what Satan has. Even though we fall into us, it's a way that we can have strength to go further in God. Just so long as we do not give up we don't know how close we are to the prize then it says rejoice evermore pray without ceasing give thanks for everything no matter what give thanks for that temp thank you satan no thank you no thank you satan okay and then the bible says fear god for this and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. Okay? So, we have to remember, if we want power, if we want peace, if we want blessings or healing, cleansing, and if we want our liberty, we have to not give up and we have to trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we need your power. Lord, we need your peace right now remember there's a war going on for your soul jesus don't be fooled jesus is the only name given among men whereby we can be saved choosing before it's too late this is all i have for you i love you um i'll see you in the next youtube have a wonderful rest and worship sabbath 
Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. I love you. See you in the next YouTube.